Hey, we're going to demonstrate the effectiveness of my uh, homemade HEPA air cleaner uh, with a particle counter. I've made other videos showing how I made this, so look on my channel to uh, see how I made this thing. Okay, this is a dialless particle counter, a DC 1700, battery operated or a plug in, and it's hooked up to the computer with a cable here. Com part to serial port adapter, and here's the logger software we're running. Okay, it uh, puts everything in graph format. Uh, I just started it a few minutes ago at uh, 10:55. Accounts were over 60,000, and they're between 60 and 70,000. It's pretty steady here, right up until it's 10:02. We're going to start the uh, homemade air cleaner and see what happens to these numbers. They're in the uh, 600s. The door is closed, and then we'll turn this on. Turn it on full power and see what happens here. A little bit loud, but it uh, moves quite a bit of air. Okay, we're going to watch. It's 11.04. Check it back in, it's 11.06. Definitely showing steep decrease in particle concentrations already after a couple minutes. You can see where I started it here. That would have been at 11.03. It's 11.06. And the concentrations went from the 6,000s down to almost uh, 60, yeah, 60 thousands down to almost 40 reduced. Started off in the 6,000s. We're now down to 2,500. This gives you an average. Uh, the software gives you an average at every minute right here. You can actually change the graph the way it looks if you want with this software too. Be your larger particles, your smaller particles. Let's go through some of the things it has. We're down to under 200 particles for 100 of a cubic foot, or 12,200 per cubic foot. Our graph, you can see we're still sharply declining, reducing our particles even more. Started off 6,600 at uh, 11.03. 11.11, we're down to about 1500. Okay, we're about the 10 minute mark. We're into the uh, low 100s now, which is considered the very good quality range. Here's the graph. That's where we started. Okay, just checking back about 17 minutes in. Particle counter test here. We started out about six uh, 67,000 and going down steadily. 17 minutes later, we're at about uh, six or 7,000. Okay, it's been uh, 30 minutes since I've had the air cleaner going. We're down into the uh, teens. Counts have dropped uh, from about 67,000 uh, parts per cubic foot down to about 1,700, 2,000. Um, so our particle count has dropped over 96% of the particle of 0.5 microns and larger. This graph displays the last 30 minutes. We're going to have to go to one hour now because it's uh, cutting off. As it progresses downhill here, it'll cut off the, uh, there, so I'll have to set the, uh, set that for one hour. You can set it to whatever you want, actually, to whatever you want to look at. There's 30 minutes ago. Look at that. That's all from this one air cleaner here. And this is a 10 by 12 room. Just a 
regular bedroom. I uh, vacuumed everything with my uh, Mila HEPA vacuum the other day, vacuumed the carpets and everything, changed the bedding. I actually vacuumed the walls too and all the little ornaments and stuff. I vacuumed all this. Otherwise, when you get a lot of airflow, you're going to stir up more dust. That's why dusting with a good HEPA vacuum or wet cloth is so important. The door has been closed. There's my um, IQ Air clean room. That's been turned off though, hasn't been on all day. And you can change the resolution on this too to whatever you wish. I can put it to a day, which hardly looks like anything. I can put it on um, 12 hours, there you go. Five hours, whatever whatever you want basically. I can put it down to back to ten minutes if you want. There's our last ten minutes, what our last ten minutes looks like. What four thousand parts per cubic foot. Down to twenty five hundred parts per cubic foot. And it was sixty seven thousand thirty one minutes ago. Generally I put the graph to fit so it fits everything basically. Okay, it's been about 58 minutes, almost an hour here. Uh, our counts are have dropped quite a bit. I think they pretty much plateaued. Uh, they're into the uh, the teens. That's uh, 4,500 4, parts per cubic foot. Here's our uh, chart. That's for the last hour. So we started out here. At about 67,000 particles. We dramatically went down for the first half an hour here. At about the 30 minute mark, it uh, it uh, started the plateau and gradually went down and kind of leveled off here. Here is the last 30 minutes. So it stayed between um, basically 2,000 and 3,000 uh, after 30 minutes. That's parts per cubic foot. That represents about a 96% decrease in particles, 0.5 microns and larger, which is which is uh, quite incredible. So here's the the graph to prove that my uh, my homemade HEPA filter is working. Uh, somebody asked me to do a particle counter test. I have a dialose 0.5 micron particle test. I actually had to turn the airflow down on this thing. It was pushing so hard on the the fan on the uh, particle counter, it was gonna it was speeding it up. It's gonna wreck it. So I had to turn the fan down to actually minimum. And it's showing zero, and it's holding at zero particles at 0.5 microns and larger. The filter is rated up to 0.3 microns, 99.97 percent. A particle is 0.3 microns, so this is bigger, so it should be no problem. Um, this dialos is a great counter. It's a great uh, great home uh, particle counter. It's not meant for laboratory use or anything like that. Um, it's great for monitoring the air in the room, but it's not great for monitoring uh, exhaust uh, vacuums and, and uh, exhaust of, uh, of air cleaners because it relies on a, a CPU type fan. I'll pull it out and show you. It's a CPU type fan that draws air in at a certain rate. And when you force air into that, you're going to alter your results. Uh, quite a bit so um, for good and for bad I've actually uh, pushed air in really fast that was not filtered and the count actually went down quite a bit so it, it changes your your results totally but the best testing is what I did earlier put, put it away from your unit good distance take measurements before and after because that's basically um, really a more accurate portrayal of how your air cleaners work and it's both matters really you don't want your air cleaner putting out uh, dirty air, but it's what you're breathing because nobody really stands over the air cleaner breathing it. It's what you're breathing across the room that really counts the most. So uh, there you have it, my homemade uh, my homemade HEPA air cleaner it does work, and I'll put it in here again. There we go, zero.